Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video we have a Lenovo laptop and this one is a Lenovo gaming laptop. It's an IdeaPad L340 Gaming. This one comes with an iCore 5 9 Gen CPU and GTX 1050 or 1060 or 1070 versions. There are many other versions. This video applies to any of those versions. And this video, I will be showing you guys how to remove your heatsink and repaste your CPU and GPU and clean up your fan. So let's make this video really short and get into it. First thing first, you want to flip over your laptop and we're going to remove all the screws at the bottom cover of the laptop, including the four in the front and everything else that is in, one in the middle, back three and the side two and one side has only one. I use my iFixit tool set and I use Phillips number zero to remove these screws. And mostly we're gonna be using only Phillips number zero the screwdriver. Anyway, I already removed the screws. The screws are all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Next, what you wanna do, you wanna open up your laptop just about 35 or 40 degrees angle. And what you want to do, you want to stick the guitar pick. I use a guitar pick, but it has really nice soft edges and really tough. So you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. And you just want to twist it, and you're going to hear little clicks. Those are the clips that are getting loose. Just do the front end, do the side. You do not need to stick the guitar pick all the way in, just about two or three millimeters, not more. And do the other side where the I.O. is. And go all the way to the corner. Once you got that there, you feel like that the cover is coming up. You're going to close up the laptop. And you want to grab it from the front. And you want to wiggle up the cover and lift it up. Work your way back and wiggle it around a little bit. Yours might be a little tough because there's a tiny clip that had to get loose. So loose up those clips. Next. You can go ahead if you want to do a cleanup job on your bottom mesh cover. Clean up this mesh cover. Use a toothbrush, old or new toothbrush. And you can go ahead and clean up the cover on the bottom. Anyway. So, now, we are down here. We have this nice heat sink right here, heat pipe. And we have two fans. They're actually one piece. So, there's not two fans. It's like a what do you call it? two fan but it's one one piece and we have the cpu and the gpu right under these two before we do anything we need we must disconnect the battery to disconnect the battery just pull this jack towards the battery just like that and push it to one side now we got the disconnected the battery you need to grab yourself a same screw, Phillips number zero. You want to remove the three screws for the CPU and two screws for the GPU. The screws, they have a C lock on them, so that it will not come out. You just have to loose them up. There. There. Once you got that there, you want to grab it from the middle. Don't Grab it from this end, otherwise you're going to bend. You can bend if the thermal paste is really stuck. You can bend the pipe. So grab it from the middle right here and just lift it up. And there we have it. You can see the old thermal paste and the pads for the components. So you don't need to remo remove the pads. It's really unnecessary to remove the pads. So what we want to do, we want to remove... Uh, clean up the old paste. So what you want to do, grab yourself a working towel. I'll leave a link in the description. Grab an alcohol. It's a 100% alcohol. And what you want to do, you want to go ahead and rub off the thermal paste right on top of the die. And do the same thing for the CPU. Now we're going to also clean up the heat sink. So grab the heat sink. Do not remove the pads. 
and there we go now we are cleaned up there's uh, two things you can do in here you can apply a liquid metal you can see my other videos how to apply a liquid metal and you can go ahead and do the liquid metal to forget uh, the maximum performance but if you do not want to go with a liquid metal you can go with a few other thermal paste there's an arctic silver 5 arctic mx4 mx4 ones are really good also I, if you want to get one of the best results go with the cryonaut thermal grizzly cryonaut is the same thing as a liquid metal but it is about one or two degrees difference on the temperature but it's much safer so go with the uh, thermal grizzly cryonaut but in this case the customer wants the mx4 so if the customer wants mx4 we're going to apply mx4 so let's imagine this could be any paste you want to apply one tiny drop right in the middle of the gpu and a tiny line right on the cpu just like that all right next if you want to go ahead and clean up your fans do it but if it's really dusty you can remove it from here first you need to unplug the jack just pull it up remove the three four screws that holds it so there's one screw right there there, there. they are the same size and now you can pick up your fan there's a cable running there's a wi-fi cable going all around it so you can untangle the wi-fi cable right there i don't know why they love tangling the cables right there cable management i guess and there's your fan the model number for these fans are ns85 b24 that's the model number if you want to get new fans that's the model ns85 b 24 go ahead and clean up the fan but this one is pretty clean and then put it back in run the cables if you want first it's much faster to run the cable right now than do it after but you have to go zigzagging right there and just like that now what you want to do you want to place an aligner right on top put the four screws that we removed and plug in the jack make sure you plug in the jack most people forget to plug the fan jack all right now that we have the thermal pacing there we cleaned up the heat sink make sure the duct the heat sink is nice and clean blow some air through here now we're gonna grab it once you align the heat sink, do not lift it up again. Otherwise, you have to reapply the thermal paste. So align it, go down once, and leave it there. Hold it from the middle, and we're gonna cross screw them. So screw this one first, and then do this one all the way to the other side. And then you can do this one right here, and then go the rest. They have a numbers, but if you want to, you can go to say number one, then number two, I guess is doesn't say two, but if this is one, this should be two, three, four, five. But it's really best to go cross the stitch them always. So you get this nice even thermal paste all around. Once you got the screws in there, you're pretty much all set. Grab the connector for the battery, align it. once it's aligned just push it all the way towards the motherboard now the last thing is grab the bottom cover place it right on top and squeeze the corners the front make sure you hit those clicks all right now what you want to do you want to open up your laptop in 35 degrees or whatever you lift it up open it up you're going to see these gaps here you want to pinch them until you hear the clicks do all around to the corners to the back and the last thing will be to put the bottom screws i hope you guys really like this video if you guys liked it and helped you guys out please think about clicking that thumbs up button and if you guys subscribe it really i really appreciate it and it helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video